No family legacy is established. I have no trust fund, nor do I have any history of success within my lineage. You see, I was born in 2001 to a 14-year-old high school cheerleader and a 15-year-old basketball player. My parents and I were quite equated with poverty and having to live off what was given, not much. Our living situation was often hectic and uncertain. I can recall sleeping with my cousins on the floors of tiny one apartments to live in the garages of my aunts and uncles and even staying with my grandma and grandpa. Thank you. I'm the oldest among three. My parents would go on to have my brother and sister by the age of 19. Alyssa and Isaiah, I love y'all. Both sides of my family have never obtained a college education, nor did they preach to us children the value of learning or truth within one's life. Given survival was our primal goal, we didn't have time for the novelties of life. Ex-convicts and recovering addicts were commonplace within my family, and the only goal within everyone's life was to scrape up enough to manage and maintain the status quo. Ambition ceased to be, and inspiration was shadowed by the perpetual failures of my past. I began to conform with the cyclical nature of mediocrity and accepted that I was suited for family ties. I had no control, no say, in what it was I was doing on Earth or where I was headed. Limits existed all around me, and the dismal condition of my kin only reinstated that idea. My complacency and mediocrity only seemed to persist through, the, through my years of middle school, given I never really understood my true potential. You see, I, I had a history of getting good grades in my classes, but I never put any thought toward it. I, had a complete, I completely disregarded my innate ability to, to comprehend anything that was taught to me, to a certain extent. I'm not a genius. <laughs> it was only when my good friend, Isai Omar, recommended a program to me, AVID, Advancement Via Individual Determination. We were figuring out exactly what it was we wanted to pursue in high school, and I told him I didn't really have an idea. He told me, his brothers are in it, and the teacher, Mrs. Mashburn, is apparently really good in helping out students, especially for college. I thought college might be nice, so I could try this out. I didn't know at the moment, but uh, this is probably one of the best decisions I've made in my life so far. In being part of the AVID community, I've been exposed to a myriad of resources and opportunities I never th before thought were possible. The topic of college and thinking for myself were concepts foreign to me. I was used to being complacent with many things and not really realizing my potential to change my circumstances. Through Mrs. Mashburn and the AVID program, I've been forced and encouraged to explore freely what interests me. In writing a plethora of essays over virtually any, every topic over these past four years, I've inadvertently been allowed to blossom into a free-thinking, inquisitive person. With each person, with each paper, sorry, that person, <laughs> I had the opportunity to vent and voice my opinions, no matter how controversial, hedonistic, to someone who actually cared, someone who wouldn't remain quiet and let me subsist in my own ideologies and challenge my contentions. In my writings, the countless Socratic seminars we had, I was thoroughly stimulated and was exposed to various perspectives. I ultimately, I have found my second family, my avid family. These past four years have been revelatory, and I honestly would not be in the position I am in today if it weren't for this wonderful system, the outgoing people who coordinate it, from the brilliant tutors to the always entertaining Mashburn. Here she is. Round of applause for Ms. Mashburn. My limits and confines were aptly torn down in joining AVID, an event that may have never happened if I maintained the status quo, as my predecessors did for so long. Statistically, a Latino like me should have dropped out or be in jail by now, just as a number of people I knew did. However, one thing none of them had was this system, and that's why I'm different. It is why I have the opportunity to be attending Colorado College in Colorado Springs and studying what I love. I'll be studying astrophysics and mathematics. Shouldn't be, it's, it shouldn't be too hard.
<laughs> I said I'll be studying astrophysics and mathematics. <laughs> but it was through my individual determination and persistence, along with the assistance of the Avid system and the people who loved and raised me, that I'm able to beat the odds and to be able to attend an institution of higher education. And with this, I finally had the chance to propagate true change within this world. It began with AVID. I wonder well where it will end. Thank you.